Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective reading. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of your, your life, <laughs> your life. Hey, got another deck. Cosmic Insights. Yep. Let's check this out. See what messages come out here for you guys. If you want to get a personal reading, yeah, there's a link in the description box below. Okay. Uh, love spell. You've been bewitched. What's going on, Virgo? Okay. That's interesting. Somebody's put a love spell on you. Hmm. Isn't that a song? Okay. Or wasn't that an old perfume? Love spell. I seem to recall. I don't think I've ever worn that, but maybe I have. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe you're wearing that right now. Or you used to wear it. Love spell. Okay. What else? What else does Virgo need to know? Oh. <laughs> you know, you know, you don't even need the regular King of Swords to show up for the Queen of Swords because it shows up in the text form. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, you put a love spell on a on an air sign, Virgo. Have you? Have you, Virgo? What's going on here? Are you been bewitched by an air sign? Okay, you've also got gambling, problems with addiction or gambling bad fun. You got an addiction? Virgo, I can already tell you where this is going. Okay. I'm not calling you out. Maybe it's them. Someone, there's an air sign. You put an, you put a love spell on an air sign that's addicted to you. Oh, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Yeah, yeah. This person, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're rolling the dice of love here, or they've put something on you. Let's hope not. But i don't know what's going on i'm done with the tarot i'm gonna just go i don't know pump gas i think that's gonna be my new job because this stuff like i'm not even kidding what the heck there might be like um you might have an air sign in your life who's got a gambling problem seriously they got the hoochie problem too they get they're a liar look at that be careful if someone's sneaky. Okay, great cards. Hey, way to start a reading. All right, let's, let me get a couple more. So I feel like that's a message right there. Be careful of an air sign. They might have a gambling problem. Um, they're bewitched by an addiction of gambling. They might have a, a lying problem. Usually that goes hand in hand. Addictions and lying, kind of hand in hand. Uh, it may or may not affect you, I don't know. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Wow. Runs away from their addiction, the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over his shoulder, the other woman. What the F is going on in this reading? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? <sighs> Girl talk, talking with your friends. Guy talk, girl talk, whatever. Talking to your friends about this sneaky sneak. Spending all your money, lying about stuff. You're in separation. They're self-indulging. Oh my gosh. Someone's, they're sad. They're unsure of the future. They're yearning for you. Maybe you left them because they were like spending all the money or they're, they were gambling. What in the actual... This is like some serious Netflix drama right here. Seriously. <clears throat> this is like a little casino action happening here. I mean, you're dealing with like, who was the girl? Remember the old movie Casino with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci and Sharon Stone? And that was her. And she had like her pimp. Like she was, she got all addicted to drugs. And then she was like stuck on this guy and she married joe she married de niro and he owned those casinos and he was trying to keep her turn her into like this she was a hustler <laughs> and he was trying to turn her into this housewife and a good mom and everything but she was all like stuck on drugs and she was just a mess and uh, like i'm not saying that's you 
to calm down. I'm not saying that. I'm just, I just feel like that's the energy of this person. Like they are just a complete mess. Okay. And I'm not laughing because that's not cool. Right. But this love spell, maybe you're trying to turn this, like help this person, or you're trying to help them and they keep running away back to their, back to their old lifestyle. Or they're trying to, um, that's kind of what I feel like is going on here. Like they're, they're indulging themselves. And you're like, maybe you got a little codependency going on. You're trying to help them. Or maybe you did pass. You might not be doing that anymore. Good for you. You know, because there's only so much you can do, right? But, you know, they're showing up here for a reason. For something. Something's going on. They're showing up here for a reason. I mean, listen, this deck is not all bad. I mean, this deck's got a lot of good cards in it, you know. Um, it's got the move on. Of course, it has a narcissist card. But, you know, it's got honeymoon, health. You know, it's got good stuff. But, I mean, obviously, when stuff shows up for a particular reason... We got to talk about it. So, yeah, maybe this is like a wake-up call for you about someone here. They're showing up for a reason. Maybe it's a reminder for you that, like, you can't... You're in separation for a reason from this person. You know, they might be trying to come back around and put a love spell on you. Bewitch you so they could get something from you, you know? Get you caught in that cycle. Or they got this fear you're going to leave them. That kind of thing. I feel like that that that's a that's a huge like watch out there's this whole thing you know especially if this person has an addiction or they're a liar you know um be careful of someone being sneaky and you got the snake here with maliciousness looking over your shoulder be careful because people tend to come back around in the holidays they do it gets cold out people want to come in where it gets warm you know, they don't want to be lo alone because people tend to be more with the family. It gets lonelier, you know, that kind of thing. So, I don't know. Is this a pre-warning kind of thing going on? I think. I think so. Let me see. What else does Virgo need to know? Hmm. There you go. You know, do you guys ever notice, like, sometimes the readings will go, like, there's so much love happening in the air, and then we hit a snag, and then we get stuck in this for a little bit. Yeah, there, there's definitely that love spell. You know, the Knight of Cups comes in, but the Knights don't stay. Now, Knights have generally a period of time. They're pretty much the romancers. Well, at least the Knight of Cups is a romancer. They have a period of time that they will stay. So it's not like the Knight of Cups is like the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is in a hurry. The Knight of, Knight of Cups trots along. So the Knight of Cups can come in. It's an energy. Knight of Cups can come in and romance for 10 years. Knight of Cups can come in and romance for 20 years and be just trotting along. But eventually they leave. They're not, and it's usually a water sign. I'm just gonna put that out there that's the energy of the knight of cups and i'm not saying that all water signs <coughs> excuse me are non-committal not saying that at all depends on their placement and where their houses are and signs in their houses and all that stuff you got to go deep with that but the general consensus is the knight of cups at least this card they trot along but they don't generally stick that would be more like the knight of pentacles probably the card you want to have for a long-term relationship like they they will stick they don't go anywhere they stay for like 50 60 80 100 years and you'd be dead by then so you're definitely getting a long term out of that consistent um the knights are romancers okay they're, they're heartbreakers because when they leave it's heartbreaking it is because it's a whirlwind of romance and, and love you know you don't get heartbroken by a Knight of Pentacles, believe me. Sometimes it's kind of like, ah, oh, I miss the way he always had toothpaste in the cabinet. There was always food in the closet, in the, you know, in the, in the bread box. <laughs> it's not heartbreaking. <laughs> but the Knight of Cups is like the whining and dining and the compliments and all that stuff, the, the feel goods, you know, the dopamine hits. And when that's gone, yeah, so, and the love and the affection, yeah. So this person back to the story this person is pretty much coming in 
I heard someone say, they don't call it friends with benefits anymore. They call it um, boner rewards. <laughs> I, I can't. And things are changing and it all pretty much just means the same thing, you know? <laughs> I, I think that's what it was called, boner rewards. I don't even know. Like you get a little, it comes in with a little card and a little punch it. You come in with your boner rewards card. So this person's coming in with their little boner rewards card. <laughs> it gets you to like punch the card. So they need something from you. And I know I'm laughing, and I'm not laughing at you, and I'm not making light of your situation if you're going through this. I'm making fun of this person because they're an idiot. Okay. And look, look, aren't we just talking about this fella or gal or whomever? Yeah, this is what you want. Look, stem legs are not, these boots ain't walking. <laughs> and these boots are trotting along I'm on my way I'm moving yeah so could be coming in with this this is part of the romance <clears throat> yeah 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 no I'm coming I'm staying look I'm making that love offer because I'm staying and I'm even going to pay you back for everything I owe you or everything I stole from you or all the money that I took and I gambled away listen uh, or the lies or the risks that I took Some of you, um, the girl talk card is sitting there and they just told me, like the girl talk, guy talk, this is like time with friends, being happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This person may have spent a lot of time with their friends gambling, placing bets. And I think this is like betting season, isn't it? I mean, isn't there a betting season? Um, acting like they were single and they had no responsibilities and just like doing all that now did it affect you in some way was it like did they take money from you or was it indirect that they just didn't have money to was did it have an effect on you in some way I, I think it might have for some of you they didn't they couldn't pay for something perhaps or they were borrowing money from you or you had to pay for everything um, or they were always like, yeah, asking you for a dime here, a dime there, you know, pence here, pence there, whatever. Um, are they always just kind of seem like they just didn't have it right now, but they they pay next time? Something seems off. This is why. This is what's going on, and they're kind of hiding it. Or they had a really great job, but they were eating macaroni and cheese every night. You know what I mean? Or are they... They were always busy, always working, but they were behind in their their mortgage payment or the rent. You know, like very contrasting things here. How come they never had money for gas for the car? Um, but they always had money to go out to the, you know, to Vegas or something. You know what I mean? How come they had money for to invest in certain things but they didn't have money to pay the bills that's a, that kind of stuff i don't know i feel like this is kind of like a red flag here um maybe some of you just weren't aware or maybe you were aware and they're kind of like making their way back around borrow some money to get some family members some christmas gifts or they need a loan so that they for the holidays or something or they have nowhere to eat or nowhere to go for the holidays and they want to ooh. Playing on, so there's that whole puppy scenario. I know Oris likes to talk about the puppies. Ever since I brought it up, he's addicted to the puppies. There's this whole puppy scenario where, when someone <laughs> wants to kind of um, get in your good graces, they're going to play on the most vulnerable sp spot, you know. So if they want to like get in the door. They give you a gift. They give you a puppy. Because they know you're not going to return the puppy. <laughs> Who's going to return a little puppy? A little stray puppy. He's homeless. Now they have an attachment to you. Do you understand the Machiavellianism of that? That's very Machiavelli. Well played. But 
very very Machiavelli so yeah I need money out of jail I need bail money not me not me I'm not in jail this person so I can come home for the holidays um, hitting up the family hitting up the family possible um, possibly going to jail possibly incarceration um, may become incarcerated may be hitting up for money for theft or something along the lines of like not being able to pay the bookie back um, <laughs> or <laughs> trying to get out of town because they're about to be taped up and put in the trunk of a car if you know what I mean need to come home as fast as possible wow little Netflix drama going on here big casino vibes big big casino vibes okay yeah oh yeah Thanksgiving come home for Thanksgiving look at the pumpkin cornucopia friends family parties drinks Thanksgiving Eve celebration I want to see you I want to see you at the holidays I want to I want to come home I want to be with everybody I'm restricted I'm stuck I'm, I'm in a bad situation when actually they're really not because their feet are not bound. They can easily just shimmy out of that situation. I mean, look, they're wrapped up in toilet paper. This is like a really bad Halloween mummy job right here. Like, finish it. Uh, this person is, I mean, they can, even, they can see the ground. They're not even fully covered. And the swords aren't even surrounding them fully. They could get out of this. These, like, whatever tears they've shed, they're not completely full of, they're not in a river. You don't say cry me a river. I mean, cry me a puddle. There's like, it's all fake it's all up in their head it's all imagination it's all bleep. it's all bs it's all bs i want to see the kids i miss you i miss our sisters i miss our brothers that's what i feel like is going on here i miss all the friends i miss our friends i want to i want i want to be together with everybody yeah hmm but they have this love spell they have this like this bewitching thing on you that they get you with. I feel like, because love spells here. And must be something that's hard for you to kind of, I don't know, you, you might try to block them or you just try to keep away because they kind of play on something on you. I don't know who I'm talking here. I know this isn't for everybody, but as soon as you get that call, you dread it because you know, you just know you're gonna you're gonna cave. You know you're going to crumble because they're going to say something. They're going to play on your good nature. Something's going to happen. Something, they're going to come up with something and you're going to stand your ground. And you're going to fight it and say, no, 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 no. And then somehow they're going to twist the word and make you kind of feel bad. They're going to really play it up. I'm waiting for the, the five of pentacles to show up. I'm telling you. It's going to show up. I need it for the kids. Or this is for the kids. Do it for the kids. You haven't let me see the kids, and I really want to see the kids, or the grandkids. Or I'm donating for the children. Why won't you give me the money? I don't care how much you give me. I've been asking everybody and I'm waiting for, you know, it's, I'm doing a charity. I'm doing a charity. Oh, it's all fake. There it is. I told you. I told you. I told you it was going to come. Yeah, look, I'm broke, busting, and disgusted. I'm out. I've been going to the church. I'm dying. I'm outside. I'm going to get, like, I can't afford food. I'm, I've been trying to eat. I'm at the hospital. Look, I hurt myself. I'm in, like, I'm on crutches now. It's all BS. It's survival mood, mode, and they get you. You got to be careful. You know what? I just kind of feel like what people like this, you got to trust but verify. 
unless they've done you wrong so many times, you don't have to trust them because you know, the boy who cried wolf story, that's what this is. I mean, after so many times, pfft, I don't have to trust you. You've lied so many times. Why should I trust you? I mean, like, you got to draw a line at some point. You know, you got to make your choice. So, like, if, if you don't, if you feel like it's, you know, every situation's unique, right? Every situation's unique to you. If you're that person who feels hesitant because you haven't been burned enough. You still got a few more burns in you that you got to go through. And you feel like you got to pick up the phone and you feel like you got to answer the call. Okay, fine. And you feel like you got to trust at least one more time because you're not 100% sure. Verify first then. Verify everything they say before you take any action. Do that for yourself because you got to protect yourself. But if you know you've been burned too many times and you're like, nope, nope, not even picked up. I don't care. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're like somebody's got you at the edge of a volcano and they're about to drop you in. Go for it. I'll stand right behind him and give him a nudge. I don't care. Go for it. Do your thing. That's only so many times you can be burned. <laughs> so there, you know, but some of you are just, I know you should get like, um, you need to get like a background check. You need to get a verification, all that. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Um, I was going to pull some, all right, it's funny because the short that I put out today was just that, don't dismiss the red flags. I feel like it's kind of playing out and I put that short out before I did this. So that's just kind of like a short reminder to this video. Like there's some serious red flags here that, you know, just, you just kind of keep an open mind with this because I feel like around the holidays, uh, you got to make a decision. Some of you already made that decision and you already know you, you're not coming here. Nope. The door shut. The door is bolted. The door is completely closed. There is absolutely no entry whatsoever. All the apologies won't change anything. I'm not seeing anything here of, I'm telling you right now, I did not see um, judgment. I did not see an awakening here. I did not see the star of healing in the cards that I pulled that when we were going through this. I don't see anything going on here. And I think you got to focus on self-care. That, that's the main message here because I feel mostly like the biggest thing here that you need to watch out for if you are in this situation where you're not sure is this love spell. Because this is what gets you. This Machiavellianism. This is what gets you. That love spell, that charm, this here. That's how you get caught up. You gotta keep your keep your eyes in the back of your head open. Keep your keep your head on a swivel. Is that the is that the phrase? Keep your head on a swivel. Don't let the love spell get you. Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's take a look at the Chinese. It's going to be short. Um, I know you're listening to this and I'll already be back, but I have an appointment very shortly that I have to get to and I had other stuff to do today. So sorry about that, but I don't really feel like making this any longer than it is. This is terrible if you're going through this and I'm super sorry. Um, otherwise, I'm sure everything's great in your life, right? You're just dealing with this pesky fly. Okay. We've got the sign of the rooster, rooster, year of the rooster, year of the pig, year of the monkey, year of the snake, year of the tiger, year of the dog, year of the rabbit. We got the monkey again, rooster again, tiger again, year of the rat. So if that's you or this person, take it as it resonates. If it's none, don't worry, you don't have to make it fit. Doesn't mean it's not for you. Okay, and let me just get a couple of initials to see what else. Oh, we also have a Leo and Aquarius showing up here. We've got someone's age 59, someone is 40, and the initial V as in Victor or Victoria or Vance or Vanessa. 
We have 1968, 1980, the initial T. Someone might be from Vermont or Tel Aviv. Oh, poor Tel Aviv. Lots of stuff going on in the world right now. Um, someone likes tater tots. <laughs> okay, and then for a charm, wow, that's cute. Let me get white because black is kind of dim right now. So Aries energy right there. You have a chameleon. Karma, 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 chameleon. All right. So maybe you live in an area where there's like lizards and chameleons and desert thingies. Okay. Uh, you might have a tattoo of this. Maybe you have one of these little creatures. Um, it's kind of cute. I don't know. It's got those little um, suction cup finger toe things on its paws um, maybe you have one you have a tattoo or you you just you you know that resonates for you in some way and if it does just definitely a reading message here is for you specifically uh, maybe you'll see one somewhere or you recognize it it represents something for you it's really cute um doesn't have to be that specific animal it could be like some type of a lizard might resonate for you. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, I personally hope that this does not resonate for you and that you don't have this drama in your life. But if you do, I wish you much luck and blessings all around. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Don't forget, if you're going to get a personal reading, go over to my booking site. It's all fixed. So you can book a reading with me. The link is in the description box below. I'm also now on Discord. Hooray! I'm on Discord. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I think I'm going to try to do like multi-platform streaming with it. So there's a link on my link tree. So you can go join me over there on my server. And we'll see what happens with it. If you want to just get in on the action, you can. And uh, thank you to everyone who's been donating to the, the National Center for Missing Exploited Children Fund. I super, super appreciate that. Um, just got a donation yesterday for 50 bucks. Wow, hello. Thank you so much. Um, I will be responding to your donations. Uh, that link is in there too. And graciously, thank you again for the coffee donations. Could always use more and more coffee. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, you guys. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. Uh, love you very much. Take care. Bye.